Right, okay, I'm in our van and as a lot of dog owners do when they leave the dogs in the cars, they open the windows. Okay, so I've got the window cracked open a couple of inches and we're just going to sit here now and see what happens. So, while we get comfy, I'm just going to read out some facts uh, that we got from the Dogs Trust website that, in my mind, are quite disturbing. Okay, now fact number one. More than one in ten people know of a dog that has come to harm left in a parked car in hot weather. Almost half of us, 48%, mistakenly believe that it is okay to leave a dog in a car if countermeasures are taken, i.e. open the window or parked in shade. Brits are far more likely to leave the dog in a car alone for a few minutes, 28%, than their phone, 10%. So, you know, we obviously value our technology more than we do the animals in our lives, which I find really quite sad. Over a quarter of UK dog owners admit to leaving their dog alone in parked cars. You know, it's no wonder so many dogs die every year. Last year, AA patrols attended more than a thousand pets locked in cars. And AA call-outs to rescue dogs locked in parked cars has increased by 50% over the past six years. So, you know, the problem's getting worse, it's not getting better. Okay, we're about 10 minutes in, and as you can see, the temperature is hovering around 34, 35 degrees now. And it's, it's hot. The fact that I've cracked the window doesn't really help because the air's still, it's not moving through it. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but I am actually got quite a sweat on now. And you know, I can do that, I can sweat, a dog can. And the way a dog regulates its body temperature is through panting, and if all it's got is hot air to pant on, it's in serious trouble. Because all it's doing is breathing that hot air in, breathing it back out, and just recycling that air, and its core temperature is going to rise rapidly. And at that point, that poor dog is in serious trouble. Alright, we're 15 minutes in now, and as you can see, we're up nearly 40 degrees. And I'm going to be honest, I am shocked at how quickly the temperature is risen in here. And it does, it feels oppressive. And I couldn't imagine how a dog would feel in this. I mean, I've, put my, I've, I've made a choice to put myself in here, and I know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. You leave a dog in a car on its own and it's going to panic, it's not going to know why it's there, it's not going to know what it's doing there and all it's going to want to do is get out and it's going to panic and it's going to make things even worse. Um, and it has to be a horrible, horrible way to, to die, to be frank. Um, and I couldn't imagine returning to my car after I've been in the supermarket or I've been out in town or whatever I couldn't imagine coming back to my car and finding my dog had died because I'd left it that would weigh on my conscience my whole life so I'm going to get out of the car now because I feel quite lightheaded and I feel quite sick if I'm being honest with you. So, I'm just going to leave with this. Number one, please do not leave your dog in the car. If you need to go out for whatever reason, just leave your dog at home. Number two, if you see a dog in distress, you've got two options. You can call the police on 101, and they, if they've got someone in the area, will send someone out. Number two, you can phone the Irish PCA on 0300 1234. 999. If you live in Scotland, call the SSPCA on 03000 999 999. 